Well, <clears throat> we're out stump grinding today and the uh, starter was having trouble engaging and disengaging. So there's the bolts. I got it off. I just pulled the camera out to take a quick video. You know, this looks exactly like the same starter as on my, uh, my um, Kohler generator for my RV. Only what I was missing here, a big chunk of the magnet had broken out of here because the bushing... There's a little brass bushing in here. I think this one's made a little different. It's got some wear. You can see right in there. It's got a little bit of play, but not enough to bother doing anything about it yet. And that's what was wrong with my generator. Was this was worn right out, and I, I believe it was a lot smaller <clears throat> diameter. I don't I don't remember it being so big as in here. That looks like. 916 sir I'm gonna have to take a caliper and measure that but and this there's your two bearings while I'm in here I'm gonna clean this out the brushes are in good shape so I don't think this has had a lot of use I know that motor was brand new <clears throat> just before I bought the stump grinder the previous owner put a brand new motor on because it was worn out and I don't know if he put a short block on and he changed all the starter and you know, carburetor and all the tin and everything in the heads or maybe he just bought, bought a complete motor I wish I could remember because this doesn't look very old there's no rust on it anywhere the zinc still nice and shiny and bright so so I'm gonna take it outside you can see all the dirt there take it out blow it out really good is that's what kills a starter is this dirt here floating around just keeps going around like a blender I'm gonna clean these terminals off and uh, what's happening right now is it's the Bendix see if you swing it out here it doesn't just pop back in on its own and I don't know what I should I think light oil will blow all the dirt out we can and just put some light light oil in there I think uh, it almost should be dry, but I'll blow it out and uh, put a touch of oil on there, and that thing should. It, it's not engaging. It's not actually going out, and it's not returning very well. So I don't know if it's a spring. Anyway, probably a bit of oil won't hurt. And other than that, it's been running great. The bushing in here looks fine. We'll put a little dab of grease on there. So I'm going to go blow that out. A little grease. It's going to be hard to get in there. I want to measure that first. Oh yeah, it's way bigger. It's uh, 680,000. Pretty big the bigger that is I'm sure that's bigger than my other starter and that was a weak point on the other one that bearing was born was worn right out to as thin as tin foil and the bigger that diameter could be the better for the starter because this end here is just guiding it keeping it straight but <clears throat> the force of the whole engine compression and everything the flywheel is pushing on this Bendix and pushing on that that bearing so everything's clean now. I'm going to grease those surfaces. I'm going to put some light oil in there and put it back together. It should work fine, I hope. I'm trying to get some grease in there. I don't feel like taking the Bendix off. 
So that's definitely bigger than 5 eighths. It's like 21 32 680,000. Okay, so that's greased. We got a little too much grease in there, but uh, oh, we got to clean that off. I forgot that. So I'll get some really, really like 320 grit paper and just go over that. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any scotch right here. You know, there was a little bit of pitting, but man, there was a lot of dirt on there. So maybe this was the problem: is the dirt on the uh, on the contact points here. So. I'm hoping something was stopping it from wanting if wanting to start spinning. So But they're in good shape. The brushes are not worn out. My other starter there over there's about to uh, I don't know, more than an eighth of an inch worn off. More than these. So I can measure these but not much point because I I've got the other one together. I'm not putting it taking it apart to check but uh, there's quite a bit left there so when you go to put this back together there's only one spot it will go together there's a groove right there and there's a little bump on the inside of this housing here you can't quite see it there oh maybe you can see it but somebody has stamped They've taken a punch or something, they've driven two grooves, so you gotta line those up and you'll feel it locks in. There you go. And I've got the shaft pushed right out. This is out further than it's supposed to be right now. Because the only way you're ever gonna get those brushes on <clears throat> is to have that sticking out. And what you do is, same thing on this end. There's that groove right there. You can see the big line right there. And where is it on here? It's right in line with the, uh, the contact point for the wire. So that's the only way it'll go together. So don't get that wrong. And it's, the bolts fit right between the magnets. So if the bolts don't go through, that's probably what you've done wrong. Oh, we're going to put a dab of grease in there. Okay, this is tricky as tricky. There's no good way to do this. Without tech, taking the Bendix off, there's no really easy way to get, keep these brushes in here. A, a lot of these starters have a, a hole you can run a wire through and then you pull your wire out when it's together. Anyway, there's nothing for this. So... What I went and tried to do here is get a piece of cardboard with a groove cut in it. See? And I'm just trying to get them all in there. This is like, you know, that uh, gopher game there. Okay. There, yeah, got all four in there. Line up our. Uh, There we go, that worked. That was the solution right there. Okay, she's back together. I'm gonna go remount it on the tractor, on the stump grinder. I'm gonna brush that out with a, I've blown it out with compressed air, but it looks like there's still quite a bit of dirt in there. So. Afraid to let this go. Okay, she's staying together. We'll give that a little brushing out with something and uh, put a little bit of light oil on there. Don't forget to clean your bolts because they, if they're coated with dirt and you're putting them right back in there. So I'm going to run this over the wire brush, kind of get all that dirt out of there. Okay, I think we're up to like take 23 here. <laughs> There's no easy way to do this. You gotta make sure all four brushes are in there. And put the armature I had together about two, three times. It just kept popping apart, so maybe this time we'll get it. No. No, no, no. Okay. 
I'll keep trying. I, had, I don't remember having this much trouble with my other starter, so... I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm doing it differently. Maybe I'm losing my mind. See, something... It's just not wanting to go... You know, probably because the brushes are bigger, they're, they're wanting to pop out easier. More easily, I don't know what you want to say, but... Uh, that would make sense. There's probably a tool for this a piece of sheet metal would have worked better. So there we go. Four brushes are in. Now we just have to drop this on. Look for our little bump there. And line it up with the groove on the... It's right with the starter, the uh, wire. Oh, wrong, wrong way. Wrong way. It's got to go this way. Is it this way? No, it's, I had it the right way. There we go. Now we'll get this cap on. And it's the same thing. It only goes on one way. Click down in that groove. Right there. Now we get the bolt in. Don't come apart. There we go. Now you just push this through the tabs on the engine. And you put your nut on the other side and it's mounted. So The bolts that hold the starter together are the same bolts that hold it on the machine. Okay, that's it. Put the appendix on. I'm going to clean that up a little more. There's quite a bit of dirt down in there. The heat from the engine dries everything out, dries all the grease out, dries everything over a long period of time. And you got to get in there and clean all the dirt out, grease it. It's just normal maintenance. This is normal wear and tear, even though that machine does not get used a lot. Some years it only runs maybe three, four hours a year. So. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's put her back together. That's sliding way better there now. That's all it took. A little bit of oil. You can see it there. Okay. Okay, a spring. Spring a thing, the jig. Washer. And that. Ready to go back on, man. I think this is on backwards. Yeah, I got that on backwards, so... Gotta really pay attention. If this is put together wrong, it's not gonna work at all. I think it's supposed to have a cap over this end, and it's broken off, so I couldn't tell. So it goes like this. That gives you room for it to move. That goes there, that goes there, and then this goes here. I think. 
Am I losing my mind? I can't tell. I think so. There we go. Yes. There we go. All right. Yeah, there we go. Now she's sliding out. Sliding a lot better. That's the way it's supposed to work. Now it's supposed to be closed off, so keep the dirt out. Let's go put it on. Okay, I got the tin back on. It's in behind there that started. You can kind of see the end of it here. And uh, really good at wood wire brush the terminals on the wire it's on there let's give it a test Working great, except for the backfire. It starts perfect now. That job's done. Thanks for watching.